Hi, I'm Jason Marks. I am the designer and manufacturer of Espresso Deck here in Sydney, Australia. Espresso Deck was the first ever patented recessed espresso coffee machine on the market. In this video, I'm going to show you how to unblock a blocked E61 group head. So this can be on any E61 with an electronic valve, uh, but because we've got that on the Espresso Deck, and we had the odd phone call, I thought it'd be nice to make a quick video of how to unblock it. Now, how does it happen? Uh, people cleaning the coffee machine at night, put the cleaning powder in, go through the whole um, on, off, on, off, which there is a separate video on. They then might quickly uh, rinse the group handle and then think that the job's done. Uh, leaving some cleaning powder lodged in the three-way solenoid valve. The tip is to do an extensive back flush with just clean water uh, at the end of your cleaning with chemicals. So what you'll notice is it's generally first thing in the morning, you'll come in and you won't actually, you'll push the button, uh, everything will, will, will be normal, uh, except no water will come out. You won't even hear the click of the solenoid valve. Uh, and that's a sign. If you do hear the click, well, chances are it's not uh, going to be this problem and uh, it'll be a different problem. It'll, it'll be the group jet, but that's uh, very unusual, particularly in a machine that's being used frequently. So what we're gonna do is go through how to unblock a frozen solenoid valve. So we get the filter basket out, replace that with the blind, and with our, either with, if we've got hot water on another group or with our tea outlet, we simply fill up to the brim and then carefully put the handle in and lock it on. That will send a tiny trickle of water back through the group head. You might have to do that a couple of times and then you'll no doubt hear the solenoid valve clicking. Uh, if you don't, uh, then just put a little bit more in again and feed it up and lock it in, splashing water back through the valve, wetting the dried up cleaning powder uh, and, and thus freeing it all up. If that doesn't work and, and there is still no clicking, then it, you might be forced to put a little bit of your cleaning powder in the basket uh, in, in the blind, sorry, and add the hot water. Um, and, and this is particularly useful if your cleaning powder has a very good foaming action. It will actually force water back through the valve uh, and free it up that way. So that's, um, that's generally something that happens only really in the morning if the previous night's staff or cleaner hasn't gotten rid of all the powder. Uh, of course, a solenoid coil can open circuit and the same can be happened. So it's not in every occasion, but that's generally what will get you uh, out of that problem. If you can hear the clicking, but no water's coming out, and this mainly happens when a machine uh, has been, uh, or a particular group has not been used in a long time, then your little jet, which lives in here, uh, which is a tiny little, in this particular machine, 0.8 of a millimetre hole. That's incidentally what all of the nine bars of water pressure has to pass through. That's why it doesn't look that impressive or powerful, but all of that has to pass through that tiny little hole before coming out. So you can imagine it's very easy for that to get blocked and, and it's got a little filter on it. So to clean that out, first of all, we need to have the water off and uh, the machine needs to have cooled down. So here we've got a machine that has uh, been allowed to cool down and we've turned the water off from mains water pressure and we're gonna get in and replace or, or clean, inspect first and possibly replace a group jet. So the reason we're doing this is because uh, we're pushing the button and no water's coming through. We can hear the click. It's not a, it's not a frozen solenoid valve, 
Uh, so we're going for a block jet, uh, which is common if a machine has been sitting uh, for a longer period of time. So we simply undo that. Now this does need to be have time to cool down because there's high pressure and hot water there. A and also it is um, uh, important that you have your mains water pressure off, otherwise water will be going everywhere. So first of all, we've got a little water filter there. That's a screen uh, that protects any sort of scale from drifting in and blocking that. Uh, then uh, in here, we've got a, a little jet, which is uh, a number seven socket fits it. And we simply unscrew that and then extract that from there. So this one here hasn't got any problem uh, because it's a brand new machine and this is a demonstration only, uh, but you will find um, that if it's been sitting for any length of time, a tiny little speck of scale will build up there and stop the whole um, group head from working. Uh, incidentally, all of the water that flows through your coffee needs to pass through that tiny little hole. So you can appreciate how easily uh, that can get blocked up. Okay, so to put the jet back in, this sounds a little bit dodgy, but uh, I, I uh, so it doesn't fall out of my socket, I just put a little bit of plastic to wedge it in so that I can then put it into position, screw it off, then I remove that, and then I can finish to tighten up my jet. Nice and firm. And then my filter back in over the top of the jet, making sure it's upright, and then carefully place that in over the top. Screw that down, the Teflon gasket works many times, so we don't need to necessarily uh, put too much pressure, just to nip it up is all that's required. And that is uh, how we uh, unblock a jet. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us at info at